How's it going guys, Vapov here and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to talk about Nvidia's RTX voice because while this thing came out in April, not many people know about it but I think if they did, they would use it on a daily basis, at least that's what I've been doing for the past week or so when I found out about this program. So what it is, is an AI program by Nvidia that basically allows you to get rid of any background noise in your audio, whether that's you speaking into the microphone or you listening in from a speaker. It works both ways and it's very handy for things like your Zoom calls, your WebEx meetings, you know, when you're talking to friends and family, etc, etc. And how it works is outlined over on Nvidia's website, so if you want more information, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. And it works on a variety of different programs. So you have Discord, you have WebEx, you have Zoom, Slack, Skype, Google Chrome, uh, even OBS Studio. So if you're doing gameplay videos, this could come in very handy. But the caveat is that it only works on RTX devices. Now, for most of you, this might not be a problem. If you own a late-end sort of laptop or a PC, you might have an RTX GPU installed, in which case all you have to do is scroll down and install it just as normal. You can download it and then install it, and this thing will be up and running. But if you have a GTX GPU, and that's where you know somewhat of a complex step comes into play, all you have to do is follow the second link down in the description. It'll take you to a Tom's Hardware web page which basically allows you to get this thing running on a GTX enabled GPU as well. So a GTX 10 series GPU as well as a GTX 16 series GPU works really well with this. Um, the GTX 900 series so the older ones don't quite work as well but definitely the 10 and the 16 works well. I've done it myself, I've done it on my older laptop which had a GTX 1050 Ti and it worked flawlessly. So if you want to do that, just follow what I'm doing on screen at the moment. And once you're done, you basically want to launch the actual app. So go over to the search bar of your PC, search for Nvidia RTX voice, and this is what you'll see. Now here you see two options. You see an option for your input device as well as an option for your output device. Now in your input device section, you want to choose the microphone you use most when you're interacting with your PC, whether that's an external microphone like in my case the blue snowball or the inbuilt microphone the microphone array like you see that's the microphone on my actual laptop whichever microphone you use it'll still improve quality but depending on the actual quality of the microphone the improvements will be either a lot or very little but I'm gonna choose the blue snowball as my default microphone and I'm gonna turn on remove background noise from my microphone what's more is you can actually set the percentage of the noise suppression you'd like so let's say you're in a very noisy environment you want to suppress it all the way if you're in a less noisy environment maybe you want to just do it halfway and we're gonna be testing it without any suppression at 50% as well as at a hundred percent but this is basically me recording with absolutely no Nvidia RTX voice enabled this is truly coming out of the blue snowball microphone what we're gonna to switch to now are some tests and they're kind of up there um, I'm gonna be playing some music in the background and then doing, you know, making just unwanted sounds in the background and seeing if RTX voice is good enough to actually eliminate those sounds and you're gonna listen in live with me. So without any further ado, let's get into the testing. Okay, so now I'm recording this on the RTX voice enabled Blue Snowball microphone. So if you actually want evidence of that, I'm gonna open up Audacity and show you guys that this thing is recording from the microphone that is selected, the Nvidia RTX voice. And I forgot to mention, if you wanna use this in any of your programs, that's the microphone that you have to choose. You have to choose Nvidia RTX voice for this thing to actually work. But this is without any suppression from the background and any, any sort of edits in the audio. So this is just pure raw audio coming from the microphone with Nvidia RTX enabled. Now let me go ahead and turn up the suppression up to that much. So do you notice a difference? Um, if you do, leave a thought in the comments down below. But we're going to turn up the suppression to the maximum and then you guys can tell me whether or not you see a difference or not. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a substantial difference because the background noise in my room is pretty limited, but once we get into the other tests, you're gonna notice it a bit more. So this was without any sort of substantial background noise. Now let's play a song in the background and see if this thing is capable of removing this completely from the background. Okay, so I'm playing a song in the background now. It's pretty much at maximum volume and I'm pretty sure you can hear it because suppression is turned off. So now what we're gonna do is turn it up to 50% and let's see if that makes a difference. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a substantial difference, but let's turn it up all the way up to 100% and see if that makes a difference at all or not. This is absolutely all the way at 100% and as you can see the song 
is still running. So this thing is running on my phone and we're recording from the microphone. Now, do you notice any sort of difference? I'm pretty sure there's a substantial difference between the beginning to this and we're gonna switch all the way back to no noise suppression so you guys can actually understand how this AI sort of program works. I'm pretty baffled by it, but again in three, two, one, let's go all the way. This is fully suppressed again and I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to hear any of the noise or music in the background and if that's the case, it works. Okay, and lastly I have this sort of extreme test where I'm literally gonna bang this spoon on this steel glass and see if it makes any sort of a difference. So this is me speaking with me banging this spoon on the glass and I'm pretty sure the microphone is going haywire right now so pardon the audio, pardon the quality, but this is just for testing purposes. Now what I'm gonna do is actually turn up suppression all the way. This is my voice with suppression all the way and I'm gonna repeat the same thing and hopefully there is a huge difference in the way you heard audio before as well as after. But this was basically a representation of what Nvidia's RTX voice is capable of and what it can do for the future. Okay, so I was just editing up this video and listening to all of the clips that I recorded and here's what I found. When it comes to background noise from your fan, etc, etc, this thing works like a charm. It basically removes all of the background noise in real time without sacrificing any of your audio quality. But all of these tests, keep in mind, are done in extreme scenarios. So when I was playing the actual music, it was right next to the microphone. When I was banging the spoon on the actual glass, it was right next to the microphone. But even so, it did a phenomenal job of removing this thing and you could hear some instances where you know the noise came in or you know when the sound actually creeped in but even so this thing doing an absolutely amazing job at this extreme level of testing shows how much potential this thing has so if someone let's say is on the other side of the room making some noise this thing would be fine to cover up that noise with AI and you'd be going off on your day just like nothing happened so overall I think this has some amazing potential and I can't wait to see what Nvidia does with this in future iterations and how it takes it forward and how it becomes sort of the norm for all Nvidia GPUs coming up but those were my thoughts on Nvidia's RTX voice let me know what you guys think down in the comments I'm pretty much going to be using this on all of my zoom calls from now on on end. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. This was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.